Somewhere down the line you might want to put an additional leisure battery onto your vehicle, especially if you do a lot of wild camping. Um, so what we've got here, we've got the existing leisure battery that's on the motorhome and this is the positive coming from the motorhome onto your existing battery and there's your negative coming on to your existing battery there. So now you want to put an extra battery onto the motorhome. So what we do, um, you can use different size leisure batteries but what we tend to do is, for example this is a 105, we like to put a 105 on as the extra one, we like to keep them the same. And then what we tend to see is the positive going onto the new battery, connected up to the existing battery, and then the negative on the new battery, connected up to the existing battery. So there you've got two batteries linked up. No, and what you're doing is you're still only using this leisure battery <clears throat> and this battery is not getting used to, at all. So what we need to do is we can keep this the same, we've got the positive coming in onto the existing battery linked up to the new one and what we need to do is if we take this off the lead from the motor ohm now needs to go to the new battery and then we link up the existing battery to the new battery and now we're getting both uh, batteries working together what we also like to do as well is the two links we like to keep the leads at the same length so now you've got two leisure batteries working together.